Hi and welcome back. Today we'll be looking at this tool that we use in school and it's called the mood meter. And what we use this for is helping us identify how we feel and help us figure out what we can do with those feelings. Because as we all know, it's okay to feel all sorts of different ways, right? It's okay to cry, it's okay to get angry, it's okay to be happy, and it's how we handle those emotions that are important. We also use colors to identify and communicate how we're feeling. And artists have been using colors for many, many years and have been exploring the effects, the way we use colors to express how the artist feels. Artists use colors to create emotions in the people that look at the art. And artists also use colors to express how they feel maybe about the idea that's in the artwork as well. And so today, we're gonna focus on our red area. And what we'll be doing is we'll be making a monochromatic picture using a variety of red materials, red paper, anything that you can find and use in multiple processes to create your own red image. And this is the first video in a series of videos that will lead in the end to your very own mood meter that is full of artwork that you've created yourself. So what you wanna do now is maybe press pause and see what you can find around your house that you could use in a red work of art. And here's an extra challenge. See if you can find three different materials to use in your red work of art. Now that we have everything we need, let's talk about this red area. Let's talk about the layout of our mood meter. Mood meters help us measure our feelings along the bottom. So if we're over here in the blue area, maybe we're feeling a little sad. And if we're here in the green area, we're feeling happy. So we have our blue and red, and we have our yellow and green. And then if we go up the left side, we're talking about our energy. How much energy do we have in our bodies? And so if we have low energy, we're in the blue and green areas. And if we have lots of energy, high energy, we're in the red and yellow areas. So what we're gonna focus on today is maybe having low feelings, upset feelings, but having high energy. Along with using colors to identify our emotions, we also use words. So if you're feeling, if your emotions are in this area, words you might use are anxious, frightened, angry, annoyed, nervous, or frustrated. Snap your fingers if you have felt one of those six feelings before. I know I have. And it's how we handle those feelings that's important. Maybe you scream into a pillow. Maybe you stop and take a break and count to 10. Maybe you stop and take a break and take a couple deep breaths. Maybe you go on a run to get energy out. Or maybe you just take time for yourself to relax and calm down. And art can be very beneficial to help you regulate your emotions as well. It can calm our energy levels and our emotions. It can also help us process those feelings, take our mind off it, so that maybe we can think about why we feel that way or how we're handling those emotions. And so what we're gonna do today is on a blank piece of paper, and you can use an envelope, 
you can find a piece of computer paper, you can use anything you want. Maybe it's sunny outside and you just watch the video and draw on your sidewalk. But we want to make a work of art using lots of different red materials. One thing you can do is tear paper into different shapes. Another thing you can do is find a magazine with maybe a really fun texture and cut it out. Maybe you found a marker that's red. Maybe you found a color pencil that's red. Maybe you found a pen that's red. All these different things make different marks. And we're gonna use these to describe and think about how we handle our red feelings. When we're angry, when we're frightened. I'm thinking about maybe the last time I was upset. I could have read something in the news. Maybe that was something I said to my, maybe I had siblings, I'm talking on the phone and they're upset. People can upset us sometimes. Or maybe you just stubbed your toe and it hurt real bad. So think about what you do. Think about how you handle being upset. Think about the best way you can handle being upset. And we can draw together and make a picture to help describe our red feelings. Let's draw together, shall we?
have it. What I've done is I've used multiple materials. Let's count the materials I've used. I've used magazine scraps. I've used construction paper. That's two. I've used a crayon. I've used a marker. That's four. I've used a color pencil. And I've used a little red pen. And I've used some watercolor. That's six. I've used many different materials. And I drew music notes, because when I'm upset, listening to music can help. Sometimes just stopping and counting can be helpful. Making art, just like right now, is a great way to get your emotions out. I made a pillow shape out of this scrap, because screaming into a pillow can be helpful. But sometimes just going on a quiet walk and looking at the flowers outside can calm me down. And in the end, I have this wonderful red monochromatic picture. And what we know is monochromatic means one color. So this is the first section or square of our future mood meter. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Remember that it's okay to feel frightened or angry or anxious. And when you do, try to remember to stop and pause. Think about how to handle those emotions. I hope you join me next time when we evaluate and talk about what we can do when we're feeling blue. But until then, keep creating. Bye.